hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i know i've been gone for the longest but i'm back with the most requested video on my channel it is my skincare routine so i've decided to split this video in two parts in the sense that one video will be just the morning routine and then the next video will be a nighttime routine because my morning skincare routine is a very simple one because you do not have time to do so many things in the morning but my nighttime skincare routine is comparatively longer there are a lot many steps which i follow and there are different kinds of approaches that i follow for certain kind of days so that is why i think it is best to make separate videos so that uh, you all can also understand it better and you can also gain as much knowledge as you can and all these products that i share i've been using them for a long time there have been a new editions whichever will be a new newer edition i will definitely let you know and if there is any product that i'm testing out i will let you know that as well also all the link to the products will be in the description so you make sure that you check all the products out so my morning skincare routine is generally three to four steps at max five steps if there is another serum that i want to add in or maybe there is an extra moisturizer and also if i tell you a little bit about my skin type my skin is very normal at this time um, definitely the weather changes impact your skin when there is cold your skin get drier when it's hot your skin start to you know sweat but i would say that my skin is not combination or oily my skin produces sweat but that is fine compared to the weather changes it is not like too much to say that i have oily skin or combo skin but yeah i had skin concerns before so yeah it took me a lot of time to figure my skincare out the skin that you see has been in the making for past 10 years yes the skincare you need to give time to your skincare judging a product by using it for like two three days or maybe a week or two is not the right way to judge a product all the products need time just like you need time to lose weight you need time to learn something the same way your skin will need some time to react to that product and to show the results so i would say that be patient try the products well give the products a minimum of a, a month and then like maybe some products need like two to three months to show good results or to show even little bit of results so yeah skincare and a good skin is work in progress you have to stick to a routine you have to follow uh, a skincare routine and you have to listen to your skin so yeah i think that's enough of blabbering i would probably do a story time and talk about i will give you all my insights soon on this channel and i will be starting a skincare series so make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so that next month whenever i start that skincare series you get the notification of the videos so yeah without wasting any further time let's get started so the first step is cleansing so i feel like cleansing in something that should be as per what you feel like you do not have to wash your face every morning that is your choice if you have very desert dry skin you should not wash your skin in the morning with a cleanser maybe just use some cold water and be done with your routine because you have done a complete routine a night before if you do not have anything that needs to be washed off or you sweat a lot in the night then you might need to wash your face but if not that you should definitely not over cleanse your skin in the morning and uh, compromise the skin barrier because cleansing with harsh cleansers or with or over cleansing actually uh, compromises the skin barrier the barrier that protects your skin that keeps your skin healthy so my favorite cleansers for the past um, three year has been the simple gel cleanser i have just finished it out and at the moment i've been switching between bioderma it is their gel based soap free cleanser it since it does not have any soap it's very mild it does not lather a lot but it is like it cleanses the skin very well as well so yeah this is something that i think you should definitely check this out this cleanser or the simple one both of them are equally good i have finished the simple one so i'm just left with this one even this one is 
almost over but recently i've been also enjoying this one by aqua logica this is a hydrate face wash this is also a gel based cleanser it's, it's affordable it's mild and it's an indian brand so yeah definitely check this one out as well so after cleansing i do not use toner every day just after cleansing i like to you know get into my skincare with serums sometimes i do use toners i love the laneige cream skin i will mention it in the description so after the cleansing i straight up get into serums so i use a vitamin c serum and this is the um vitamin c serum that i've been absolutely loving for i think probably more than year and a half and i have i think i'm on this is the third bottle and this one is over as well this serum is so effective like the korean skincare amazing this serum actually gives very good results if you keep using it so yeah i have tried so many vitamin c serum but this one works the best on me and i actually see that whenever i develop any pimples and if there is any pigmentation that is left after the pimple heals this one works amazing on those i will leave the link to this serum also in the description it's not that this is the only vitamin c serum that i have i have other vitamin c serums as well let me know if you want me to share a complete video of vitamin c serums that i like with vitamin c serum i also like to pair a niacinamide serum so i've been really enjoying this simple 10% niacinamide serum this is really good so a part of the reason why i don't use toner is because this serum is very moisturizing like it has that almost like a cream based texture it is very creamy so i feel like um it it Uh, serves the purpose also this serum is also gel based so i feel like both these serums together um they are enough hydration for my skin and yeah these are the two serums that i always use in combination it's not that it's not mandatory sometimes i use just the niacinamide sometimes i use just the vitamin c sometimes i use both these are the only two active ingredients that i use in the morning time because both of them are antioxidants and they help in reversing the sun damage so like i said that i like to use um both these serums in the morning if not both of these i like to use this one this is another korean product this is the purito centella green level buffet serum this has centella and a good percentage of niacinamide it soothes your skin it protects your skin Uh, so i enjoy this one i don't know if you can see but more than half of this one is also over so yeah these are my three go to serums for the morning time i've been using all these products for a good amount of time definitely this this one is a newer addition in the sense that it's not been more than 6 months that i've started using this one but um uh, both these serums have been in my skincare routine for more than a year both these products i swear by and i absolutely love so after the serums is moisturization even if you do not use any serum make sure you use a moisturizer without fail be it summer be it winter you need moisturization your skin needs a moisturizer use your skin has to be hydrated for it to function properly and trust me all the steps that you do in these years will show up later in your um, age so if you do not take care of your skin in your 20s your 30s in your 30s your skin is going to look much more mature for my moisturizer um this one this simple moisturizer has been my favorite um i I think ever since Simple launched in India, I've been using this moisturizer. I don't know how many bottles I have, uh, you know, finished of this moisturizer, and I still have this always in my vanity. This is a very simple, no nonsense moisturizer, good for any age, um, very lightweight, all clean ingredients, all good and clean ingredients. So yeah, you definitely need to check this one out. Since it's getting a lot more hot, um, I really enjoy Clinique's Moisture Surge. um this is a very gel based moisturizer it has lot of humectants which are great for retaining moisture in the skin especially in the summer time and it is super lightweight and it you know gets absorbed into skin and disappears like nothing so this is another moisturizer that i absolutely enjoy and use in the summer time 
um, but yes this one is little on the pricier side if you do not want to invest in this kind of a product you should try out um, this moisturizer from aqualogica i am so surprised by the aqualogica products they are really good so this is their gel moisturizer it is amazing all the aqualogica products are great i think you should try the these kinds of indian brands which make amazing products third kind of days when my skin feels extra extra dry i like to use this coserex ceramide moisturizer um this is very thick more emollient like moisturizer so when you have those dry skin days this one works best and it has centella good thing about korean skincare is they have centella in almost all their skincare products so centella works really well in soothing your skin so yeah this is the one that i use so this one by Requel um this is a ceramide and hyaluronic acid moisturizer um this one is also great for dry to very dry skin so both these products are great for dry to very dry skin as the weather has been changing i am taking out to these moisturizers less but i thought if there is any one of you who has dry skin then you should definitely check these two moisturizer out so i think i have shared three kind of products and for normal skin you can use the simple one for oily skin you should use the aqualogica one or the clinic one even the cetaphil dam moisturizing lotion is also a great moisturizer for very dry skin so today i've used actually the clinic one with the simple one as in that i used the clinic one first and then i used this simple one like a little bit of it because um this is a cream based moisturizer a cream based moisturizer is occlusive in the sense that it forms a layer on the skin so it will make sure that whatever hydration uh, you know i apply on the skin is um, you know not lost to the environment as in there is less trans epidermal water loss the last step in skincare routine is sunscreen doesn't matter if i stay inside or if i go out i always use my sunscreen of lately i've been using these aqualogica sunscreen so both these sunscreens are so amazing like they are very lightweight uh, these are the kind of sunscreens that you you know want to i think this one is almost over so these are the kind of sunscreen that work great for you know summer time when you do not want very heavy sunscreen it, these are the sunscreen that i've been loving at the moment i also like the recoils uh, matte sunscreen it is good and i also enjoy neutrogena's uh, zinc sunscreen the yellow one but it has very prominent white cast which is not suited for a lot of people with um, you know pigmented skin as it will make your skin more gray but if you are on the lighter side it is the best mineral sunscreen um, it is thick and it is actually very effective that you will not tan with that sunscreen for sure so yeah these are all the products that i used my morning skincare routine is very simple i use a uh, cleanser i use serum i use moisturizer and i use sunscreen um at this moment i've shown you a lot of options because my skincare routine is changing as we are transitioning as we have entered the summer time so pichle sardiyon ka bhi i've shared with you that ki sardiyon mein ya pehle se all the moisturizers that i've been using or maybe serums that i've been using i've shared everything with you all um comment down below if you have any video suggestions for me um, i'm going to upload more regularly on youtube i promise and uh, please make sure you subscribe to my channel because i am going to start a skincare series um next month in which i'm going to talk about every skincare ingredient and every step in detail so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification and you also share this video with your friends who might benefit from this so make sure you like this video it means that you actually acknowledge the efforts that i put in and you acknowledge the knowledge that i have transferred you and if you have any questions about any of the products and if you want me to talk about any product in detail make sure you comment down below and then i will answer all your questions if needed i will make a video out of it that's all from my side for today um i will see you all with new video very soon bye